evening ladies and gents we are in Poplar Recreation Ground and we've done the grave of the kids that were killed at Upper North Street School in East London Cemetery this is the memorial in memory of 18 children who were killed by a bomb dropped from a German aeroplane upon the London County Council School Upper North Street Poplar on the 13th of June 1917, Alfred H. Warren, OBE, Mayor. J. Batux, Skeggs, Town Clerk. Erected by public subscription, A.R. Adams, Poplar. Oh, well, that's the one that did the, uh, one of the stones in the churchyard just now, funny enough. Grace Jones, aged five years. Rose Martin, aged ten years. George Morris, aged six years. Edwin C. W. Powell, aged twelve years. Robert Stimson, aged five years. Elizabeth Taylor, aged five years. Rose Tuffin, aged five years. Frank Wingfield, aged five years. Florence Wood, aged Woods, sorry, aged five years. Louisa A. A. Campora, aged five years. Alfred E. Batt, aged five years. I'll stop there with the Alfred E. Batt one. His father was the caretaker of the school and he had to sift through the rubble and found certain things in that. And uh, he died of a broken heart several months after his son. He's buried not, f not far behind the, uh, where the children are buried. Uh, anyway. Leonard C. Bearford, aged five years. John P. Brennan, aged five years. William T. H. Challen, aged five years. Vera M. Clayson, aged five years. Alice M. Cross, aged five years. William Hollis, aged five years. George A. Hyde, aged five years. And that's one of them things that you scan with your phone and stuff happens. Yeah, it's just like a little garden. It's normally uh, full of ne'er do wells, but the rain's kept them in. So, yeah, let's see. There we are. Show you that. Popular recreation ground. Gates. Oh. Hope you all found that interesting, ladies and gents. If you did, please give it a like and a share. At the end of this video, we'll follow some of the history of the Upper North Street disaster. So you may find it a little bit ups upsetting, but it is obviously part of the history. Uh, take care, all. Hope you all enjoyed. School caretaker, Benjamin Batt, begins to clear the debris a day after a Gotha airplane bombing of a primary school in Poplar, East London. 24 hours earlier, Benjamin found the remains of his son, Alfie, amongst the devastation. Five months later, Benjamin died. It is believed that he suffered greatly after the loss of his son. Regarded as one of the saddest tragedies of World War I, the Upper North Street Primary School bombing caused a national outpouring of shock and grief. Eighteen children were killed that day. Most of them were in between the ages of four and six. Another 37 were injured. At 11.30am, the bomb struck the rooftop and crashed through three classrooms. A week later, one of the biggest funeral processions in London took place, bringing together a large and silent crowd. Fifteen of the children were buried in a mass grave in East London Cemetery, Plasto. Over 600 wreaths were laid, and King George V and Queen Mary sent a personal message to be read out at the service. Last summer, the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh visited the school, now called Mayflower Primary School, to honour the memory of the children killed there a hundred years ago. Local children unveiled a memorial at Poplar Recreation Ground on the 23rd of June 1919 that still remains there to this day.